Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with a company called PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we'll be doing an example conversion for propane on a Predator 2000 inverter. And if you'd like to see this video, you can go to pngtechnologies.com or if you want to call us, we can be reached at 734-992-2648 and we'll get started on this one here. Okay, now on the Predator unit here, what we got to do is they do not have a gasoline shutoff valve on here to shut your gasoline off so when you're running propane. So I turned the unit around. I'm on the back side by the pull start. The gas line is actually easier to get to on this side. So we'll go ahead and remove this cover. Pull these out. Okay, and this just snaps off. Okay, pull your, pull your rope out a little bit, like that. And you can just pop this off and we can set it to the side. Okay, now if you look in here, you're going to see the gasoline hose right here. And we're gonna do that step now. Okay, you can see your hose clamp here. We're gonna go ahead and pull the hose clamp off. Again, make sure your fuel is all drained out of here before you do this, because if not, you'll have gas all over. So I just pulled it out. I just tipped it up and drained it all out. So let's go ahead and remove the clamp here. Put that to the side, pull that off. Might get a little dra gas dripping. Now we'll supply you this here. You'll get a new shutoff valve, your gasoline shutoff valve. So just slide that in there, put your clamp on. Get this set over here. We'll go ahead and slide this on here. All right, now you got easy access. Off is across this way, on is this way. So we'll just go ahead and shut it off because we're gonna be running propane. That's that step there. We can go ahead and mount our door back on here. Get your screws back in here. Turn that around. It folds up. There's a little lip right there. There you go. Now that step is done there, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll start our next step. Okay, got the unit turned back around now. We're on the other side where the carburetor is. We're gonna go ahead and pull the cover off on this side. And expose our carburetor so we can get to all that. This just pops again. Set it to the side. Okay, now we're gonna go right into the gasoline carburetor here, okay? And we're going to remove this portion right here, this tube, okay? So this is basically just going into your air cleaner bo box here. That's just a black rubber hose that goes into the intake of the carb. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull this piece off here. Just tuck it up out of your way, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and remove the nuts here. This back one's a little bit tough to get to. You got to kind of close, the, pinch the hose down a little bit and then get back in here. Now, this one here, I am using number 10. Okay, so we'll loosen that up back there. All right, get that off. Now this is just pulls, you pull it out and it'll pop off that bottom piece. The boot will come right out there for you, okay? 
Now you've exposed your carburetor. Now what I had to do on this is I took vice grips on these, okay, because they weren't long enough. So I got up real close to it so I didn't gnarl up the end of the fittings. Back them out about three turns. They're real easy to do. There's a lot of meat in there. So that way your adapter will go on there. Okay, now what I had to do is I had to back these studs out into the gasoline carburetor about three turns. There's a lot of meat back in here going into the little block here. So I just put vice grips as far as I could up on this. They popped out real easy. I backed them out three turns. That way my uh, adapter here will fit on there. And we'll show you that step now. Now they do not give you a gasket here because on this boot here, it's a rubber seal. So we'll supply you with a gasket. Let's put the gasket on, okay? And just feed this hose through here, okay? And we'll get this adapter set up there. Okay, that's on there. Just run that over. That'll be our next connection there when we do that. Now, as far as we just put the boot back on, Okay, see so you got plenty of room now to get your nuts back on there. And then we'll do the back one here. And that back one, like I said, is a little, because the boots there in the way. Once you get it started, I already got it started. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten these down. here now this little boot down here the adapter's just nicking it a little bit but I just pulled it back and it'll pop right back down in there there you go all right that steps as simple as okay that. now that we got our adapter installed the hose that we have coming off the adapter instead of mounting it to the cover and you got to remove that every time even if you check your oil what we do is we supply a bulkhead fitting okay and what we're going to do is end up mounting this right here so here's your spark plug cover boot just set that to the side pull it to the side okay and then what we're going to do is get a tape measure and from the cover here to the edge i want you to mark up one inch okay and then from the side of the id of the hose i want you to come over one inch make you a mark what we're gonna do is drill it out to three quarters. I use this here, or you can use a hole saw, but we'll go ahead and get that started. Real simple to drill. Okay, let's see if it fits in there. Yes, there we go. Okay, now, and we install this portion down here on there. This top one, obviously, you got to tighten up. We'll go ahead and set that down in there. Get our lock washers set and ready. With the lock nut, the bottom doesn't really turn much on you. Let's grab pretty good. Okay. Now let's get up in here because it did turn on me a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that on there. Get you another wrench. Lock it down. Go ahead and get this on here. This is where your propane fuel is going to be your inlet of it, okay? And you've only got six ounces of pressure on here after your high pressure regulator. So there's not much. 
turn that facing out, okay? And then your hose here that you got, we're gonna go up underneath and slip that up on that. Route that around there and put, the, oh. There we go. And just route that around there and you can go ahead and install your cover. This is done on this side. Okay, now that we got everything installed, we'll go ahead and get ready to hook it up to our propane tank and we'll do our first run. Now we give you a dust cap here when you're running gasoline. That way no dust sucks in here. You keep bees and stuff like that from getting out of it. So we'll supply you this unit here. It'll come all assembled just like it is here. Go ahead and just connect it to your tank. Now we give you enough hose here to be able to hook up to a hundred pounder too. So go ahead and lock this down. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and make our connection back here to our generator. No pipe dopes needed. It's a flare fitting. So go ahead and Lock that down. Okay, we'll turn our propane on. All right, now on the back of this unit, you can see we have a primer button, okay? Just press it for a few seconds, just a second or two, that'll get the fuel into the carburetor for a quicker start. This is going to be your power adjustment. We'll preset these as close as we can here. Every machine is different, so um, we'll give this a shot. What I do here is I'll loosen up the, the nut so I can get, I can adjust it, bring it up. So I got a little play in it, okay? And we'll go ahead and hit the fuel here. Turn our unit on to start. All right, we're gonna plug it to run. Take it, take it off, high idle, make sure she runs good there. Good to go, take it back up. Okay, that was a pretty simple installation. Uh, everything is pre-assembled on this, so there's not much that you really have to do except for basically doing the installation. Um, if you're interested in the kit, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Again, my name is Matt Noff with PNG, and I really appreciate you watching this video, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.